Hi there, third grade. So it's a different way of filming. I'm actually using the camera on my computer so I can have both hands get nice and dirty. So I am checking out our worms, seeing if they prefer to eat nothing versus eggshells. Okay, so I'm actually gonna start on the nothing side. So the way we set up this experiment, oh my goodness, someone's texting me in the middle of class. Just like in class, I just ignore it, right? You guys are more important. So over on the nothing side, I've got one, two. Wow. Well, I had two all the way over there on the nothing side. Let me check a little closer. Yep. But technically, guess what? The middle is also nothing. Yeah, we had no food there. And that's where we originally put the worms. One. Two. Three. So, um... This is just my experience now with testing a few other food experiments, is that I'm thinking four, I should have not fed the worms five for several days so that we could have had super hungry worms and then see if that made a difference in their decision. Um, so what we will be doing is we're gonna collect data for today. Oh. And to collect data, you need to have your science journal. So mine here is going to have enough um, room to collect the data for several experiments. Um, you guys only have to do one. I'm doing a lot. Um, and my worms are trying to get away. So you um, should be collecting the data on your journal. And then we'll analyze it. So I'm thinking we have, we're going to have data for day one, which is today. And then we're going to continue this videotape. Um, in two days from now, and so you'll have data for day three, and we'll see if there's any difference. And from there, we'll make our analysis. So now I'm checking over by the eggshells where the food is, and I've got one, the little one. I got one over here. So again, the, the foods that I'm choosing uh, that I have here is because someone in your class chose to compare them. So I'm not actually going to share every video with your class, only the ones of the experiments people in your class asked about. Oop, I got one hiding over there. Okay, so that's three over there in the eggshells. Oh, they're trying to get off the paper towel. All right, so I gotta go quickly. All right, with my messy hands. Okay, guys, get back up there. They're trying to escape. Okay, get back up there. Okay, I'm gonna quickly show you guys so you can write down your data. Okay, for day one, I have, it's actually three, this one went off here. Three, five, and I don't know if it was two or three, yep, two over here, way over there with nothing, five in the middle of nothing, and three in the eggshells. Okay, I hope I lined that up right when I showed it to you. Um, but my hands are messy. Anyway, I'm gonna put them back approximately where they were. And we're going to come back two more days from now. So it'll be three days after the setup and see if that makes a difference. So I'm not giving up on this experiment, but I'm realizing, hmm, checking after just one day, we needed more time with this experiment. We need more time. So again, I didn't quit. I got to put the labels back. I didn't quit. We just knew there had to be an adjustment. And hopefully by waiting two more days, we'll have better data and we'll compare it. And maybe not. We'll find out at that time. All right. Hey, third grade. Welcome back. Though for you, it's it just, you know, you didn't really go away. Anyway, I'm here on day three looking at nothing and eggshells. So let's remember, we want to keep track of our data. So you should be maintaining your journal. And I wrote right in my journal, the results did not seem conclusive after one day, so the worms were checked on again after three days, and here we are on day three. But I kept data for day one and day three, so I'd know I can compare. 
Okay, now of course, I'm keeping data for a lot of experiments. You don't have to, just one. Okay, and it's kind of boring watching me dig through this, so I'm gonna fast forward the video. Unless, of course, my cat pops up in the middle, then I slow down so you guys can enjoy that. Um, so I'm gonna start digging, but then I will slow down the video to normal speed to show you the data. Okay, so I only found eight worms. I know we put 10 in here, but in truth, when I came out this morning, there were four worms not in their containers. I don't know which one they climbed out of because I have six experiments set up right now. And my cat's making a mess over there, but off camera. Anyway, um, I found four where there was no food, but they were in the middle. So they were pretty close to the food. I don't know how you want to interpret that. Again, just gathering data and four that were actually in the eggshells, okay? So keep maintain your journal, put the data in your journal, and we will discuss things. Um, join me for a Google Meet on April 27th. I have a different time set up for each class, and let's discuss our results. What does it mean? Is it conclusive? Uh, maybe some are, maybe some aren't, and we have to think on how we want to do it different, and that's what scientists do.